Burke County investigators still looking for the robbers who broke into the caskets of several Confederate and Revolutionary soldiers at the Old Church Cemetery this weekend. And they wanted us to tell you that this video may be considered very graphic, but if you have been watching the Boston Marathon, it's probably not going to rock mm -hmm. you that much. Deputies say robbers turned over headstones, the clothes on bodies were removed, leaving behind bones, dentures, even infant remains. Investigators say the robbers did leave their mark. It is a bizarre crime in Burke County, and it has lots of people asking questions. Many wondering if this is a growing trend by people trying to find old relics that could earn top dollar. D. Griffin investigates. Toppled tombstones, gaping holes, and broken concrete slabs litter this Confederate cemetery. Once sacred ground, now the scene of a crime. Graves torn apart by vandals who pillaged the final resting place of the dead in search of pleasures for the living. We've got a lot of people that, uh, that search for trinkets and historic, historical things um, to try to sell. Some of them keep them just for you know, their own purposes, to put them on a shelf or say they have it. Clues scattered among the ruins in this cemetery may unearth a bigger crime. People now that are coming up that watch these antique road shows and pawn stars and things like that that see that these items are selling for a lot of money, they know that if these places are out there and they can get their hands on it. By stealing from history, the thieves may have bought themselves some jail time in the future. Disturbing a grave is a crime. Furthermore, military graves are covered by federal law. Carol Jones and the Burke County Genealogical Society are doing their part to protect local graves and the history buried beneath. She says this recent vandalism is a reminder of the importance of tracking current information of lives from the past. It's the wake-up call that that we need to take care of these old cemeteries and to inventory the contents of these cemeteries before they're lost. Or land in the hands of thieves who prey on the dead while trying to make money off the living and digging others deeper into crime along the way. If you have knowledge or, or believe that something may be stolen um, and you purchased that item, you could be charged as well. Sergeant Cochran also says this is a wake up call for other cemetery caretakers to keep their eyes open for grave robberies. The American Legion Post 120 is offering a reward for information leading to the robbers.